Oh, well, I've um, I've been good friends with Exodus for oh, like uh, like almost like 15, 14, 15 years, something um, since they reformed. Um, and uh, you know our paths had always crossed. Um, you know when we were on tour at festivals and everything during that period because um, you know we were always on the same bill various festivals around Europe and um, it came um, it became possible in 2005 that um, I was able to tour manage Exodus and Hypocrisy and um, ever since 2005 I've kind of worked for Exodus in, in some kind of different capacity each time they come to Europe whether it be drum technician or tour manager or yeah like last year I, uh, I got to play session drums with them because Tom um, he had a vacation booked in Mexico and he couldn't get a refund on the on the vacation so instead of cancelling the tour they asked me if I would uh, play drums and of course to play drums for Exodus is it's like a dream come true it's an honor With Exodus, there's so many crazy things that happen. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, uh, <laughs> mention some of the things, but um, oh, we've had we've had all kinds of things happen. You know, like um, the buses have broken down, the buses have caught fire. Um, you know, usually what happens is um, they have a rule on the Exodus bus: if you if you pass out drunk and you don't go to bed then they draw on your face but if you make it to your bed then you're safe but if you fall asleep in the lounge then it's yeah you're open season to anybody with a pen <laughs> and they got me a couple of times really good uh, one time with swastikas and yeah all kinds of crazy shit drawing dicks on my face there was one time when um, we, uh, we were traveling to Spain and um, I woke up and I needed to use the bathroom so I just ran straight into the gas station and I didn't check my face in the mirror and everybody in the gas station saw my face with swastikas and huge dicks. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. But yeah, that's one of the things with Exodus is if, uh, if you don't make it to your bunk and you pass out drunk then things are going to happen. <laughs> Well, if anything, it's um, it's broadened my um, my perception of music, and you know, um, playing with different bands. Even though all of the bands are in in like the same extreme genre, it's always good to uh, you know um, play different styles because uh, you know it just it just makes um, it makes you a better musician makes you more open-minded and you know um, yeah it, you have a better understanding of you know the music in general I'll um well thank you for saying that um, my time in Dumaborgia was very special I'm very proud of it and um, I think it's one of the highlights of my career so far. And yeah, we um, we had a lot of fun. You know, we toured the world several times. We made some great music together, and um, I'm very proud of it. <laughs>